What's going on guys? Welcome back to some more Vinland Saga Day. I, I didn't even remember for a second there. I didn't even remember. I was like, oh, let me check to see if an episode came out. And there was. So we're going to be watching episode 11 today. Um, hopefully we get some backstory on Knut and see what happened to him. I'm pretty sure that, um, what's his name? Can't remember his name right now, but he probably did um Torkel that's his name um hopefully that uh I think Torkel captured him um and now they're probably gonna have to go rescue this dude um but there's a certain subtle hype that's going on there's a certain subtle hype that's going on with this character Knut and I thought he was gonna do something in that last episode but he did nothing the cross is on the ground, everything. Gang came into the tent, saw him basically just there. <laughs> you know, the, he just, you know, so there's a subtle hype behind this character that I think there's something big about him. Why they're not even showing us the face or nothing, just this really nice helmet that he has. <laughs> but, anyways, man, we all know, you know, that. Um, Ascalad is heading back over there to go take back the prince himself so he can get all the glory of rescuing the prince. Okay, so let's jump into this, man. No more time wasting. I have a lot to do today, so let's go do this. Let's go. Finland Saga Episode 11. Let's get it, man. And just in case you guys don't know, my anime community, there will be a link down in the description. Donate to the channel it's just a temporary thing until i actually get the patreon going so if you feel a lot of people been asking me about can i donate to you paypal you know cash app all of this other different stuff so i just decided let me just open up a business account on on paypal and let you guys a be able to go over there and donate to the channel all this money will be invested back in the channel of course so it's all you have to do okay so thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you guys right back here for the review. Alright guys, so here we are one more time for another review. Episode 11 of Villain Saga. Crazy, crazy episode, man. Um, Thorkel just wants to fight. He just wants to fight. But I think the most interesting thing about this episode was him saying that Thor's is stronger than him I think that's the most interesting thing about this episode and also figuring out like if Knut is a girl or a boy <laughs> I guess Ragnar would know you know I'm thinking that Ragnar would know if he's a girl or a boy they've been saying Prince it's just that I it's the same issue that I have with Griffith from B Berserk you know what I'm saying? The same issue is just like if they don't say that he's a he or a she, like you could very well mistake them for girls because it's like they, they draw them so so um there's no ruggedness to the drawing, so you can't really say you just can see the difference between somebody like Knut and say uh, Askeladd or, or Thorkel or Thorfinn like or even Ragnar you can see the difference like you're not gonna mistake those dudes for girls right so that's one of the things too where it's just like it's very hard to tell if Knut because even when he took off the helmet I was like okay so it's a girl and then they showed his face and you're like is he really a girl? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's very confusing, but I'm pretty sure they're probably going to clear that up in the next episode. Let us know that he's actually a prince. He got some, you know, um, some pillars, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, um, some chain, some balls and, and, and <laughs> I'm snorting. Why am I snorting? Anyways, man. I think that was one of the more cool episodes that I've watched of Vinland Saga. Um, wasn't much fighting. We all know Thorkel is, is strong, so he's going to demolish all of them. Like, I don't see Thorkel as the type of person who's going to die to a forest fire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm glad that he and Thorfinn had that moment um, where 
you know, he's telling him, hey, bro, I know your family, you know, and in the beginning, you know, episode one, when you saw them, um, Thorko and Thor is fighting together, like you could tell that, you know, you know, they have a somewhat of a deep friendship or they fought on the same side. I don't want to say friendship, but I don't want to go that far. They're just they know each other very well because um, it's no surprise that he knows um, Thor's wife, um, Thorfinn's mother. There's no surprise there. Um, probably knows his sister too, should know his sister too, because she, um, the, he was basically, she was basically born on the battlefield. I think it was after, after they moved when he, you know, moved away from the war and everything and left the army. I think that's when he had, you know, got Torfin into the family. So, um, y Yilva, I think her name is, I think he should know should know her i think she he should know her so um it wouldn't be surprising if he does but yeah man pretty cool episode ashley came up with a with a good plan to separate everybody and he's just trying to gain favor and i think he's trying to gain favor with the with the king so that he i don't know what he has planned next but he is a pirate and also he kind of reminds me of what Griffith is doing in Berserk at the moment that I just finished volume six. Um, kind of reminds me of what Griffith is doing. Griffith is just kind of like playing a game to get stature. So it's kind of like, because he's coming from e, the, the, the band bandits or, or whatever. So it kind of reminds me of Griffith's character as in that part of it where he's, you know, doing stuff, you know, in being with the army and stuff so that he can gain stature in the kingdom the king is favoring him the queen doesn't like him you know the princess does so it's kind of like he's trying to gain get that political power also so we can have his own kingdom that's his dream to have his own kingdom you know have that kind of power so same thing i think kind of reminds me of you know what ask Lad is doing so <clears throat> thank you guys so much for tuning in man this was a good one definitely hope you guys enjoyed my reaction off this episode um remember guys um i'm just i keep i'm telling you guys this just in case you did not watch the intro and i'm just letting you guys know it's not forced or anything like that it's just that people keep asking me about it and i just decided to go ahead and do it you can donate to the channel now until you know i get a patreon where you guys can you know get some benefits out of it but if you want to or if you want to wait for the patreon that's fine too but if you want to you can donate to the channel now it's a paypal account you can just um click on the link go to the link and just put in you know a dollar whatever it, you, <laughs> you know as i said all this money is going to go back to the channel anyways and stuff for the channel doing stuff for the channel uh, maybe I'll be able to use that money and travel and do vlogs and do interesting shit. You never know. <laughs> you know what I'm so thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. And you're a terror squad. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, leave a comment in the comment section, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's all good. You're a terror squad. I'm Terror by Reacts. And I will see you guys for the next Finland Saga. Peace.